Last week, I blew the hobby's frickin' mind. No. No, you didn't. With the definitive guide to Shohei Otani's Japanese rookie cards. And, because I'm a man of the people, and I don't want you to overspend on sixth year cards, which is exactly what every 2018 Shohei Otani card is. A sixth year card. Today, we're drilling down on the top five Shohei Otani Japanese rookie cards to target for under $700. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I can't believe it either, but it's true. There are still low pop PSA 10 Shohei Otani true rookie cards for less than a box of 2024 Bowman Draft Jumbo. Does it make sense? Make it make sense. Because I can't. But you can still buy a low pop rookie of a unicorn goat with an insatiable global following for the same price as a jumbo box of recently drafted prospects that aren't even recognized in their local Waffle House. Waffle House? Yeah. And have a virtually 0% chance of ever being mentioned in the same sentence as Babe Ruth or Shohei Otani in 10 years. Sorry. Jack Caglione. Don't be floored, my cardboard horde. The top five Shohei Otani Japanese rookies under $700 and the rest of your life starts now. Coming in at number five, I have this gorgeous 2013 BBM Young Fighters offering. It comes from the Young Fighters box set. The card isn't serial numbered, but only 3,000 of these bad boys were printed. A decade later, there are only a paltry 82 PSA 10s out of 212 graded for a 39% all-time gem rate. It also has the distinction of being one of only two base cards to feature Shohei as both a pitcher and a hitter, which, stop me if you've heard this before, stop it, get some help, isn't likely to happen ever again. Or maybe once every 75 years. Either way, we'll be dead. It doesn't it strike you as a bit morbid? And Ruth and Otani will most likely still be top two on a list of Two. The last couple PSA 10s have sold in the four to five hundred dollar range, an absolute steal. Number four on my list of favorite Otani rookies under seven hundred dollars is Shohei's BBM second version or Series Two in Topps nomenclature. This is his first flagship base hitting pose, but it also has a gem pop like a serial numbered card. There are only 129 gems out of 338 total graded for a 38% gem rate. And the current price? Just 500 bones for a PSA 10. What? That seems so cheap! It sure does! Sitting at number 3 is Otani-san's 2013 BBM Genesis card. Genesis is BBM's yearly high-end offering, fondly referred to as the Gold Stitch. This classic beauty is clean, simple, and elegant, like your host. Um, no. <laughs> it also has a ridiculously low PSA 10 pop of 85 with a 38% gem rate. There was a recent $600 sale on November 9th, and I was able to snag one a few days later for 556. I don't see folks selling low pop Otanis at the same holiday discounts afforded most baseball cards this time of year, but you just never know. A good off-season target price is 550 to 650. If you can convince someone to let show go. Second on my list of Otani Japanese rookies under $700 is Shohei's 2013 Calbi Star card, one of Shohei's only refractor-style Japanese rookie cards. These fell one in 96 bags of chips on average. Well. Technically, it's 1 in 96 packs attached to a bag of chips. That's right, Calbi, who controls over 50% of the Japanese snack market, only releases their baseball cards in two-card packs attached to their bag of chips. Mmm, potato chips. 
As you might guess, given Calbee's distribution model of choice and the comparatively scant print runs of Japanese baseball cards, the PSA 10 Gen Pop of the Star Card currently sits at 90 with a 36% gem rate. The last two have gone for 625 and 657. I consider anything under $700 a bargain and consider yourself very, 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 very lucky if you can get one closer to $600. And finally, at number one of affordable for now, 2013 Otani Japanese rookie cards is the Calbee Exciting Rookie. Otani had zero cards in Calbee Series 1. He has only one card, this Exciting Rookie subset card, in Series 2. It is the first card produced by any company showing him as both a pitcher and a hitter. And it's the only one that looks like he's facing himself, which I think is fucking awesome. By the way, who do you think would win a matchup between Otani the pitcher and Otani the hitter? Otani, obviously. With a 100 card checklist in Series 2, you would have to buy 50 bags of chips to guarantee one raw Otani. And the odds of it being gem were 43%. Currently, there are only 170 gems out of 400 graded. In the month since researching gem pops for the definitive guide to Shohei Otani's Japanese rookie cards, which you should most definitely check out if you haven't already, I'll leave the uh, links. Uh, usually, I think it's one of these corners here and then also down below. Well, since that video and since that research, there's only been two gems added to the PSA 10, uh, PSA 10 pop report out of 11 submitted, which is not surprising for a decade old card that the gem rate is lower than 20% now. The last couple have sold for $356 and $361, which is absolute bananas. For the longest tenured baseball card producer in Japan that uses Stadium Club full bleed photography, and the most delicious distribution model in the business. Mmm, potato chips. And those, my cardboard hoard, are my top five Shohei Otani Japanese rookie cards under $700. There's no reason to buy overpriced sixth year base cards unless it's an on card auto or a game used jersey card. One important note. Much like the Bowman second, third, and fourth year prospect offerings, there's no reason to buy Otani's Japanese offerings from 2014 on for speculation purposes. If you're just collecting, whatever you like, baby. I collect baby clothes. In the next few weeks, I'll follow up with my top five Japanese Otani rookies under $3,000 and my top five Otani Japanese rookie autos. As always, I'm Freddy, and you're welcome.